And one of the things that uh, they said to us is, you know, everybody could say I've changed, but doing this class and showing up every day completing it is putting on paper that you've changed, not just saying it. On June 6th, 10 inmates from Cabarrus County Detention Center begin a four-week course to prepare for employment after release. So the Certified Logistics Technician Program is a 48-hour training program that goes over the basics of logistics and then into the intermediate steps with documentation, hazardous material handling, order picking, inventory, things like that. It's a program that it's not only the logistics, but the helping them with their resumes and helping them with mock interviews. Uh, specifically, the logistics technician is in high demand right now with all the continued growth in Cabarrus and surrounding counties. Well, the program itself lends itself to a paper and pencil um, type of classroom environment. And the jail cell itself, the jail program, had some limitations. So it took a program like this to be able to make that happen. Rowan Cabarrus Community College partnered with the Sheriff's Office to develop this program. The goal is not only to help these inmates get jobs, but also to help reduce recidivism in the county. We're not only looking at um, how we can help them on the inside, uh, and, but also how to connect outside of the detention center. Because in a lot of cases, most of these inmates, they're lacking something. It could be a driver's license. It could be a place to live. It could be a way to connect with human uh, services. And what we try to do is implement programs that help make those connections happen. So we're trying to address those immediately and then identify resources outside of the detention center that we can work through to, to hopefully help them not to return to the Cabarrus County Detention Center and help them be successful in the community. So they get a certificate saying they're certified in the logistics of warehouse operations. Along with that, they work with our uh, peer support to assist them in getting uh, things they may need outside to apply for jobs. They help them get an ID card if they need it. They'll set up a job interview and they'll even take them to the job interview. So they're getting a leg up on getting employment and housing and just basic needs when they get out of the detention center. The first ever class of six inmates finished on April 25th and the program is seeing immediate success. Two of those students that graduate, we also encourage them to come in and take another manufacturing class here at the college, so they did do that. Um, like you said, the two of them, we have gotten them into jobs and the other two are in the process of getting them jobs. We do this program through the jail system, but we also do it with the general public. So there are people that, that are out there that are struggling, can come in, take this program for four weeks, come in, take the program, we'll help them with the resumes, help them with the mock interviews, help them get good jobs. Not just jobs, but careers. And, and, that's, and that's, that's what. The difference. For Neighborhood TV, I'm Dylan McCaffrey.